Salute to the crew. I know just what time it is. Y'all could just vibe and chill. It's time to fill. Got tea and wine to spill. Got Bree behind the wheel. Lisa and Leon. We bring new people on. Speak for the people, y'all. Yeah, salute to the crew. Welcome to the big talk. Welcome to the big talk. Welcome to the big talk. Hello, hello. Hey. What y'all saying? As you may notice, it's a little intimate today. We're bosom Just, buddies. Yeah, bosom buddies. Yeah. Bosom buddies. <laughs> we did this to show you guys how diverse we are. Yes. Um. Well, not really. <laughs> Leah. <laughs> Leah, she had some obligations, but Lily, we holding it down for you. She will be back. West next side episode. Lee. We miss you. So we decided, you know, if you can't have Leah, we can't have no one else like that like that yeah so <laughs> it's just gonna be us for right now but we might have a surprise for you guys later boom bam boom so i mean mandy they should know where to find you but remind i'm gonna still tell them yeah mandisa kerr on facebook and linkedin mandisa lady seven on twitter and mandisa lady on ig okay and you know where to find me if you don't by now it's brie bombshell on ig on twitter Facebook is Bree Sands, and the most important follow is this podcast, Big Talks 242, IG, Facebook, Twitter, and subscribe to Big Talks Podcast yeah, subscribe. on Hello. YouTube. That's the most important the most important thing to do. Subscribe, like, and we put it on Facebook, share, comment, like, you know, give us, oh, the pillow, I found it. The pillow <laughs> flew. The subscribe, subscribe. Pillow. <laughs> you know, it fell from the sky right on time. So, <sighs> so what's up, girl? I write you out. It's you and I and I and we. <laughs> <laughs> this feels like a phone conversation. It's, it does, you just know. in person. You guys get, you know what? It's insight on how me and how WhatsApp each other. Yes. This is what it's going to be. It's going to be um, Jokes. in our conversations. They're very lit. This is how we came up with the idea of the podcast because hey. we were like, everybody should be able to experience this our conversation. Yes. yes. You Good. know what? <laughs> so. What you got for lunch? You got any pizza? Any little Caesars? As a matter of fact, <laughs> <laughs> I am afraid to go in little Caesars right now because I don't want a rock but to be thrown. Bernard, what you? Girl, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Henfield. A tornado may hit in there if I take Renard with me. No, but hold on, Mr. Henfield. I need to understand what what happened because I would hate to think that you pulled that story out his ass. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Beep that don't want to get those sponsors. <laughs> <laughs> did something happen like did somebody have an argument next to him and he maybe he's one of those guys with a very vivid imagination like That's he a probably very vivid formulated the rest of the story i want to know but one theory that i'm sticking with that i heard um on a talk show was that it seems as though he might have been out with a let's we'll just say a friend and this is the story that he probably had to present um to his significant other Oh, because he married a. <laughs> he married? Yeah. With kids? Yeah. Oh, that's who the they was. The children. When he, he said them. they. Yeah. Ah. So, that makes sense. What do you think? You think it's like, a, is I a feel female like, or it's a male? I feel like, I want to say friend. I'm not going to. You're not going to classify? Yeah, I'm not going to classify. I can do that. I'm not I gonna, can do that. I'm not going to classify. I'm not going to claim that he's cheating or anything. I'm just saying. I he might like have been out with, with someone. And he might have told his wife this story that he was going to get the pizza. <laughs> and when the time run up, he run into Little Caesars. And, you know, she's probably trying to figure out why are you taking so long. But he could have just tell his wife the story. He didn't have to go on Facebook no, and tell but, the story. No, but then my thing is he made it seem so heroic. So you have to put it there. You see what I'm saying? Because then she would have probably been like, well, if you almost died, why it ain't nowhere? No. No, no. It, no, ma- no. it makes it more believable because he posted it on Facebook. You get what I'm saying? Like he had to have his own backing i don't know what's your thing what's your theory my feeling <laughs> about this situation is no why why are you going to put it on facebook no it because makes it more believable no it can't be making it more believable because some people have cameras <laughs> <laughs> what is it but i want you to know i want you to know before i really looked into the story i did see when he posted it and somebody reposted it and i was like wait it can't be little caesar's here he must see a way <laughs> Listen. Like on a trip. <laughs> like this must be the seasons in Florida. And I bypassed it. I said because the story is so extreme. It's like, very extreme. And I keep up. But the thing is, my favorite part of it was when the stabbed victim. 
hopped over the counter. I was like, nigga, because it's a stab victim. That's that true. means that person. Honest, put it in your mind. I'm a visual. Let's do visual. You know, this to be stabbed. That means you're bleeding. You're ah. Uh, Oh my god And you hop You find the energy And you find the courage To hop over a counter To assist You know what type of That's a lot That's, yeah. that's powerful That's a lot that I feel like I was there What about him becoming a human shield From the flying Listen Should have bought a Honda But I bought a Kia mm. Because <laughs> I, I used to know where he grew up It's <laughs> like <laughs> what kind of refugee camp? He, like he what, used what? to live on the side of, on on the side of Leah. Leah, that's why you need to be here. See why? East Street Lee got Reynard too. That's his name, Reynard. Yeah. Oh, Reynard okay. Hanfield. Like what? <laughs> that, that's a, you, it was too much. T E W steel. And then you just <laughs> emerge from the scene like a superhero, and you say, "Almost died." Modern day Superman I'm coming home. Okay. Wifey, I feel for you. I feel for you. So I'm going to stick with my story. <laughs> he was somewhere he shouldn't be, and he needed the backing of Facebook. I just think he needed to go to San Lorenzo. So I mean, <laughs> you think it's going to be like any, like any consequences? Because he is a senator, like, you know, you're supposed to be someone who's supposed to be upright and, you know, I just think he was cheating. I'm sorry, I can't even, I can't even hold it back no more. Nigga, you was cheating. And you was out with someone. We ain't call the sex. Who is we ain't know? I ain't gonna say that. But I can say you cheating. I'm sorry. It's me. Wow. <laughs> um He's definitely gonna He's definitely gonna I don't know. He's gonna have to answer us back. Maybe not, because we don't know what you no, say. No. Make up something. No, he's a senator or what? What is he the senator of? <laughs> what happened to you? <laughs> He's been in the House of Assembly and, you know, there's help with stuff. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. But anyway. Moving on. Moving right along. Uh, speaking of other um, <laughs> people I with like you people. Talk, with people. Um, did you hear the Dwight Howard story? Oh, yes, I did, darling. How do you feel about it? I don't know. I don't know if the man is... Uh, homosexual you're gonna keep it proper don't know if he's homosexual or he is straight you know they make up a lot of stories and that is fine that's fine but i don't know this is this is powerful i don't know what's going to happen here well um for those of you who don't know the story let me i'm gonna summarize i'm gonna just Mm -hmm. bottle it up Mm -hmm. right quick so there is a transgender um, I don't want to mispronounce their name. I think it's Mason. Mason. Um, he, he, he. Yeah, he. Good. He <laughs> said that he met Dwight on the set of Wild and Out. I don't know if he was an audience member or whatever the case might have been, but that's where they met. Um, apparently, they connected there somehow and then connected on IG. He showed some screen recordings. And he gave some voice clips, audio clips of telephone conversations where he's allegedly speaking to Dwight. Mm -hmm. And his whole thing is that he's not trying to shame Dwight. He's bringing light to the fact that now Dwight's pastor, don't ask me, I don't know. His pastor is harassing him and threatening him. So the whole thing is, it's not about me out in Dwight. It's about the pastor threatening me like, it needs to be brought to life. I'm scared of my life. This is a lot. I don't know. I don't know because I feel like even if that is his motive, like it's to show <laughs> the pastor, I feel like his motive is still to... Shame Dwight. Yeah. Because you didn't have to say that. You could have just said, you know, I'm seeing a basketball player. Right. Um, and leave it as that and say now his pastor I don't Dwight I need to understand his pastor name like what, what's going yeah, on his pastor I need to know why Be- the pastor all up in your business and it's like a gangster pastor yeah no let me like, see up in your business but I need to know if him and the pastor sleeping together too because why is the pastor all up in his business something wrong <laughs> <laughs> something wrong no but seriously why would the pastor 
go to the alleged go to so much length to, to try and find out yeah like and threaten him and threaten him for what my thing is you need to go to dwight if that's the thing would you go in to he's the, threatening him to sign a non-disclosure agreement and he's saying that since he didn't sign it now i guess he's in fair for his life because oh so him. the pastor knows what's going on between them and just wants him to sign yeah but the, that non that non-disclosure agreement is null and void now because everything is quit. not just that but it's null it was null and void from the beginning because you ain't even supposed to be a part of that where you come from why your pastor know about just sex life yeah and he said that like the way it goes to like sex parties I, it was really and big bad. orgies i mean no it wasn't like a regular sex let me choose my words. It was not a <laughs> uh, boy girl sex body. It was just boys. Boys. <laughs> <laughs> it was like that. And orgy parties and stuff. Well, then, I feel like the pasta was involved. Know. You know too much, pasta. <laughs> you know too much, and you're okay with it. I just want to see how it goes. And no, then, you're okay with it. But do you believe the, the story? Do you believe that it's true? Some of the things happen with those NBA players and football players. I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if it's true. I, I'm, I'm on the fence with it because it's like, I'm not like hardcore. Oh my God, no, Dwight's not you, no. But it is be those guys who have these secret lives. Yeah. So I can't be, I can't say, you know, that oh no, it's not him. Or if it is, it's just. Well, if it is, it is. If it isn't, it isn't. I think we're going to have to do a poll, guys. So we're going to do a poll about this because I'm on the fence too. I don't know what to believe. Yeah. Is it true? Is it not true? That is the question. <laughs> All right. We'll be right back. Welcome to the big time. Welcome to the big time. Welcome back. Uh, Doing a shoulder. Huh. When I say that, you do the shoulder. That's fine, but I just wasn't. I wasn't prepared for you to sing. You normally say "Welcome back," and then I sing and we do the shoulder. But you, you welcome back. Welcome back. <laughs> See, that's how it was supposed to go. That's you know what, what we do. You know what? I'm trying to mess things up. I'm gonna let you have it. You're in the season. You're feeling merry. You're Ad feeling merry. Because we're now we're in December. You're feeling married. I am. Okay. A All little right. bit of Joseph. <laughs> hey boo. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and we're back. So although you can see two of us, I told you we might have a surprise for you. We have a call in guest tonight. Yes, I said call in. Y'all didn't know oh. we do that. But we do it. Her name is Leah. Well, no. It's Leah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Leah, we sorry, but it's Leah. <laughs> Leah. 
You know what I meant. Yeah, she knows what I meant. I know. Leia Trico. Hi. Let the people know what's your name, where we can find you, what you representing, and what you bout. <laughs> uh. All right. Well, Leia Trico, and tonight I'm representing Chick Charney. Ooh. I've heard about it. Yes. The challenge, Chick Charney challenge, mm-hmm. right? Which means we'll see you out there next time. <gasps> no. <laughs> I'm going to put it <laughs> on a sticky note. <laughs> no. <laughs> let me just, let me just, let me just say no. <laughs> One time. Mm. Well, I'm okay. not even going to go there. At least you're honest. But um, we have a lot of stuff coming on stream next year. Um, one of them actually is going to start up this year. It's called Real Rock. We're going to be offering rock climbing. Hmm. Okay. okay. So what's that? Tell, tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. Oh, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> totally fits the theme of where yes. your dress is. Okay. Um, so what we're going to do is we'll head out to Clifton. Mm-hmm. And uh, the water will be at your feet and we will be climbing. Hold on. Hold on. You say Clifton? Clifton, yes. What that mean? Clifton. See why I ain't coming? <laughs> <laughs> that already sounds far. No Sound like GGYA. Hold on. Can we do, wh- why are we starting from out there? Well, that's where the nice scenery is to do it. I mean, this NASA, we only have so many rocks we could climb, right? So. God damn. Oh. So, do, like, for people who are just now hearing about it, do I have to be, like, physically fit? Like, I gotta be in the gym? No. Um, you can come out there. We will teach you how to do it. We will show you how to do it. We'll get you comfortable. And then... You can progress from there. Leah, don't lie. <laughs> I'm not lying. Don't lie. Don't lie. Any you fitness n- level, I got you. You gotta have some type of some type of something going on with you. Go to the gym, guys. <laughs> Go to the gym. Get your metabolism on a good. We're trying steady. to encourage Bahamians to opt Please. outside. Okay. Mm. Outdoor activities. Okay. Oh. That's, yeah, that's fine. It's that fun, but good. yeah, wow. I'm gonna be. <sighs> You got it. It's After a little. E- it's easier than you think Probably it is. Jay we won't online. take you to the difficult spots right away. I will be the cheerleader. Yeah. Me. Motivation. Can yes. you bring the bears? You could do that for me. Yeah. Okay. Totally. I think we could work with that. And I could be driving on the side, talking shit, giving you drinks. I will do that. <laughs> to my best ability. <laughs> Disclaimer: I will be drinking you know, after and not before. Reach to the end. Okay. So y'all heard it. Y'all mm-hmm. know where to find. I'm sure y'all have seen it before because I've seen it. Well, what are, so. what are your handles sure um for rock climbing it's chick charney underscore real rock our regular handle for chick charney is chick charney underscore challenge and our website for all of the services that we offer is chick charney all right awesome churin oh my god that's one of my favorite c-h-i-r-r-e-n yes Yes. churin Churin. (laughs) it just it's so bohemian and it could be for anybody churin and churin (laughs) <laughs> we'll go with it. And for the main discussion, the reason why you guys are still here. Mm-hmm. So, I um, saw a video. I don't know if you guys watch Love and Hip Hop, but if you do, Marcus Black. He made a comment saying that no guy wants a fully independent woman. Mm. Um, he went on to say, um, guys need somebody who, you know, you're probably going to hit him up for something you can let him lead the way a little bit you know he wants to feel wanted i guess i just wanted to know since it's just us ladies how y'all feel like you feel like you need to take a seat back so you can feel like the man or should he feel like the man regardless what y'all think hmm. leah do you want to take do you want to go first <laughs> <laughs> so I, have my, long. I have mine <laughs> Um, I don't know if that's a fair statement. Just because you're independent doesn't mean that you don't need assistance at any given point or that you would turn down assistance if it's offered. I agree. I agree. I feel like... I feel like it might be something to do with him. Like insecurity? Yeah. Like why why does it bother you that I don't need a ride or I don't need $40? You would think they'd be relieved. Right. Like, how to, like, what? What is it? Like, you feel like your boy's laughing at you? Mm. Or you want something uh, to talk about? I don't know. No. Um, personally, uh, I, I kind of almost agree with him. Hmm. 
Reason being, uh-huh. let me tell you why. Because <clears throat> it's in a man's nature to be the provider for a woman. It's almost like if you don't have anything to do, then what's my purpose? You know? Um, I find that a lot of men say that to where she's too independent. She don't need me. So what what am I here to do? You know, and now unless they actually stay within the relationship to figure it out because it may be a thing where they are very independent with their material things, but they may they may need more emotional. Men are not emotional. <laughs> so them waiting to give you that emotional part of it is not gonna happen. They're doers, they're providers. So hence why you would find you find a lot of cases where women would be with guys and because they're independent you see them cheating on these same women with these little junglist girls you understand these are the same little junglist girls who's be calling them you i shed need, some light just now. yeah you, uh, i need know I, know. I need something for my hands and my nails and my hair and my this and my that they feel like the man in the relationship because when women are quote unquote too independent whatever that is <laughs> <laughs> you know when they're too independent it's like you demeanor them because let's just say if your car breaks down mm-hmm. right what if she if, what if she get outside and start fixing the tire and you wait there <laughs> sitting there no 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 let that man do his job what he's supposed to be doing and fix your tire well at least you know if my tire was to go down and you are like so far gone you're unable to do it I don't know what I'm at. Now hold on now. I would say that I'm independent, right? But if I'm sitting in the car with my man and my tire goes flat, I'm not getting out of my car. Of course. <laughs> right, it's like rules to this. It's no, and, to this. and but you have some women that will do that. And, and that leave will leave him in the car? No. Listen, stop. if he don't know, if he doesn't know, right? Let's just say you just get out the car before him, right? Or you get out the car with him. And you try help. No, no. Sit down in the car and wait. And I'm not trying to say, women, oh, you got to be this little frilly princess in the car. I'm like, I don't want to touch your tire or nothing like that. No, I'm not saying that. But allow him to be the man. You understand what I'm saying? He is there to provide. He's there to do. Allow him to do that. So I kind of agree with him. You know, some of these, I'm a very independent woman very independent my father taught me how to be very independent and not to depend on a man for anything that is a major problem that was a major problem of a few of my relationships because i did everything for myself so i'm speaking from that independent woman's side to say hey now i look at it differently and i allow the man to be the man and i realize the difference in my relationship now but is the problem in this case really the fact that a woman is independent or is the problem that he has maybe an insecurity or um, a complex, I mean, for lack of a better word? Because I, I like, okay, I would, like I said, I would consider myself independent as well, right? Mm-hmm. But if help is, help is offered, I'm pretty much going to take it. Now, I'm, not, I'm not talking monetary help. I just mean assistance in general. I take that too. Yeah, I'll take it. But <laughs> if I don't always take it, it doesn't mean that you're not wanted or you're not eat- needed. Maybe I just want to try it to see if I'm able to do it. And then, oh, don't worry, next time you ask, it going right back to you. I just wanted to know if, I, if I'm capable. Well, see, that means they would, he would have had to done that first in order for him to know that the next time is still on him. That isn't something that... See, the reason why I think he probably said that is because they always do and they don't allow any space for for the man to do. You see what I'm saying? Okay. He would have had to done that first. And then if you wanted to take it, like to say, pay for dinner, right? He would have had to pay for dinner first. And then you say, hey, no, I'm going to take dinner tonight. That's something different. But if you constantly turn down or constantly just do 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 for yourself and don't allow him to be a part of what you have going on or be just be a part of your life then he gets it's almost like what am i here for what am i doing but i feel like this like this is a no win because they griping about the same women that need them for any and everything then they griping for the women that don't need that quote unquote need them 
fit everything so it's like exactly what do you want I, i'm not sure that all men know what they want and i think they say that they want it let's say for this argument they say they want an independent woman but mm -hmm. they're intimidated by her and then you have others that say they don't want one but when they get that little jungle bunny that can't take care of herself they're calling her by every and every any and everything then they complain it i think they like it but do you guys think <laughs> that this is more so for men who have money Mm, well, I that's feel, a way to look at it yeah because i mean i'm gonna use the term broke for lack of better term but i don't think a broke guy would be complaining if his woman was independent like, of course is she helping him out too especially i kind of feel like this is more so for the guys who got money like you know because they're usually the ones who don't want you to work if at all too much mm, they i mean want you to be like just stay right there with them, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. Dress up and be their arm candy, and I, I, I know trophy wife, and I know arm candy. I ain't gonna that, like I, that, that. That's for some, because even though you have the quote unquote broke, um, most of them, some of them, are still. I think their handy. only problem with an independent woman for a broke guy would be time. Well, yes. I feel like, you know, because, you know, if you're independent, you on the oh, go. Oh, on the go, you're always working. So I feel like his complaint wouldn't be that you ain't asking for $40 because he can get the $40. Mm -hmm. It would be because you, you spend no time. time with him. But I would, much, I would much rather a man that would come and actually help out with the things that I need rather than dish out money to pay for a service. For example, I, yeah, if I, I need agree. something fixed in my house, man, you come there and you bring your nails. Oh, man. Oh, you gotta it be is handy. Only, it, yeah, I, I, I would agree. much prefer that than some rich dude that's just yeah i agree like no, i i, I totally a handy man like i have a, a personal story i don't do this but hey whatever it sense it's just two of us <laughs> <laughs> what's up um i was with a very dear friend of mine who's got a flat tire and <laughs> what happened <laughs> i was with a very dear friend of mine who got a flat tire and i was in the world so i had like couple guys i was talking to you know and the one who was supposed to be like number one i thought i told him that we were stuck and he was like let me know if y'all get a record i could probably give you the money back i was like wait what <laughs> for a flat tire wait what i give you the money back i don't even remember that like wait what you get a lot you get offered a lot <laughs> i got a oh i'm glad to know that you got straight <laughs> i was like uh, no um uh i i just call my daddy still listen i, I really to, hold on, i gotta get gangster for this one <laughs> let me tell you something <laughs> i totally i totally got you there lay out because let me tell you something i was in a situation with a dear friend with a dear friend <laughs> <laughs> and the tire was flat <laughs> and the person who i thought that was supposed to be you know level one you know he uh he couldn't assist at the time but let me tell you what happened i put it on what snap and one of my friends he i was he was all the way out west and he came from all the way out east and he was like yo you straight and i was like no you know and i did call my dad you know but i said you know what i'm gonna let my dad you know i wouldn't because i used to call my daddy for everything that's my daddy kid hi daddy i'm a daddy's girl so i used to call my daddy for everything and he just but my friend came and he assisted and the person who was supposed to be level one you know didn't even check up to see if i got home straight he just i just said i was straight and he was like glad to know that you got straight he ain't no and i say he ain't you know i had a h e apostrophe n he ain't know how i get home that night or what or who helped me in any which way form or fashion so <laughs> I could have gone. I could have been with somebody else. He ain't had to know. He ain't have a call. Ox. Okay. So how are you? You know what's going on or anything like that. So yeah, he got fired. By the way. Yeah. I I would yeah. think so. He got fired. Mm. 
And for me, the if y'all want to know how to start again, because I know y'all nosy, y'all like tea. <laughs> the, the the new, the very new one that I was talking to, he came. He was way out behind God's back, and behind. he came. I told him that I had already gotten somebody. My dear friend had already gotten somebody mm-hmm, to mm-hmm. fix the tire, but he still came, and he was like, you know, I just want to make sure you good, regardless. Mm-hmm. So, Aww. you know, if y'all need lessons, stay the lessons right there. Yeah, you know he's still around actually. <laughs> and I so. got me a handy man. <laughs> <laughs> so take notes, ladies. So yeah. what's the consensus here? Um, they the want or don't want independent women. The consensus is, you know what, y'all be independent. It don't matter what they say they want because, like Leah said, they confuse. Mm-hmm. So I feel like they like it sometimes. To be honest, you. I still feel like they like it. So if you. I saying don't throw your man away now. No. But if you independent and he complaining, if you want boosters, you go ask him for twenty dollars. I don't know. Buy something to eat. Man, it has to be a balance. Let it be a balance. I agree with the balance. Cause you know, because uh, because because I'm independent, there is a balance. Yeah. Right. And because I know I could do this, I still allow. I still say no, no. Do yeah. It. There has to be a balance. Yeah, don't don't take his masculinity away. I will say no. that, ladies, because I know some ladies overdo it now. And they really make men feel small. Like, even if he is broke, that's your man. You mm. pick him uh-huh. up a bunch. Still let him feel like a man. But if you're independent, you're independent. If you don't have to ask or seek him for help, that's fine. But, like you say, have a balance with certain mm-hmm. things. Yeah, let him open the doors, yeah. carry the bag. Right. Yes. You know, let him do that. We ain't got to be so hard all the time. Cause open no. the Actually, jar. Actually, that's what we is be asking for regardless. Mm-hmm. So. I don't have this moment, ladies. But y'all stay independent because you never know when you need to change your tire. And you might be like us and our dear friends. <laughs> <laughs> when the guy never show up. So okay. I have independence. Guys, y'all just got to figure what y'all want. Yeah. But you know, if y'all disagree, feel free to comment. If you like comments. Yes. We could talk about this again. So, Leia, we appreciate you hopping on this call. Thanks, man. You guys, please remember... Chick Charney Churin. Yes. Chick Charney Challenge. Make sure Rhea. you're called by Clifton. <laughs> I want to see the muscles out there. Our girl Leah. Leah Trico. We are going to be there. Full support with bears and shit talking. With bears and sh- We're going to be driving. So, you know. You could be the pass mobile too. Like, if y'all need help or something. Shit <laughs> talking. Shit's falling from the sky. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's what we're going to do. Yes. So, with that being said, Mandy... Hey. Let the people know. Oh, that's what we're doing. <laughs> Guys, you can find me on Facebook, Mandisa Kerr, LinkedIn, Mandisa Kerr, Mandisa Lady 7, on Twitter, Mandisa Lady on IG. All right. Leah, you have any last words before we let you go? Um, just want to remind you guys to check out Chick Charney as well. Chick Charney underscore challenge and Chick Charney underscore real rock. All right. And I'm not telling you all my handles because y'all need to learn to watch the episode from the beginning to the end. I'm end. gonna tell Talk. y'all what to do. The end. Y'all gonna subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Big Talks Podcast. <Sheep> fresh. <laughs> on YouTube. And follow us on IG, on Twitter, on Facebook. And guys, we like comments. We like suggestions. Queries. We like guests. You know, whatever. Whatever. Let us know. What Hit y'all wanna do? Um, Guess what? I'm going to fight our engineer <laughs> <laughs> if he bursts me with a pillow again. I just thought I should say that. Uh, yeah. Y'all done fighting? I guess what happened. Okay. And if y'all wanted to know who's abusing us, Trey Vents. <laughs> it's where to find them. On, I- <laughs> on <laughs> IG. All right. Thank you guys for tuning in and see y'all guys next week. Welcome to the big time.